my channel. My name is Tally, and welcome to another reading vlog. So last week, if you did catch up on my reading vlogs, I did finish reading Concrete Rose, and that is the first book that I read for the month. So last week, I wanted to take it slow, and I just wanted to focus on only one book. And this week, I'm trying to catch up on my challenge. So I think I am around five books behind schedule. But I'm not really stressing too much about it. Last night, I started reading Dear Justice, and that is the sequel to Dear Martin by Nick Stone. I was a huge fan of Dear Martin. It was very powerful, and if you have read the book, Dear Martin is about a boy who sends letters to Martin Luther King. And in Dear Justice, so we have Quinn, who is our main character, and he is sending letters to Justice, and Justice is a kid he met um, at a playground. Both of them went to this playground during the night because they were going through some problems at home with their mothers. And there were two boys with very similar situations and same age. I think they're the same age. Um, same backgrounds and they even had some classes together. The question that I am coming across this book is how did two boys with the same life, living in the same neighborhood, going to the same school, with the same family situation, how did they turn out so different? Was it a pure choice or was it that they didn't have like an influence in their life? We follow Quinn, who is in prison, and he's sending letters to justice. It takes a look at the practices and ideologies discriminated against African American boys and minorities in the American justice system. And it was published on September 29. So far, I'm really enjoying it. Getting the writing is kind of confusing, but it's very easy to keep up with the book. So I'm currently reading There There by Tommy Orange as well. I'm currently on page 10. I haven't done a lot of progress with this book, but hopefully I can catch up. It follows 12 characters from the native communities, and they're all traveling to the big Oakland powwow, and they're all connected in some way without them really realizing it. It just has like a chorus of voice voices that just tells us the painful history of Native Americans. I've heard pretty good reviews on this one, so I'm excited to keep reading it. I downloaded other books, but what other ones did I download? I also downloaded Look Both Ways by Jason Reynolds. Again, another author that I really like. So yeah, I'm going to read Your Justice and I'm going to drink my tea. So if I don't talk to you guys t tonight, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. <laughs> really good. And the rest of them I got these little mini candles. Oh my gosh, this smells really good. This is fresh rain, ginger, and lavender. And then I got this stay home and read. This is hazelnut cappuccino and fireplace. Yum. 
And then lastly, I got old books, aged paper, dust, and vanilla. Look how, how cute these are. Wednesday afternoon. I just got back from the store. I got some Starbucks. I'm about to work right now. I have around like 10 minutes, but I just wanted to say hi. I haven't had the chance to pick up Dear Justice, but I am reading that one. I am reading it on the Kindle app. I am actually 37% done with it and I'm on page 74. Um, there are 196 pages. It's recommended for you to read Dear Martin first. Um, I'm really interested in to read more about these two kids. This book touches topics like discrimination, police brutality, and how two black kids raced the same but ended up with a complete different life. One of them went to an Ivy League school and one of them ended in prison. And the main plot of the story is how did these two black boys end up in complete different lifestyles and it's very interesting it's a very interesting topic um, especially if we do work with kids it, it is very important to read these kinds of books so I'm gonna work right now and I will update you guys later and yeah bye currently 7 25 p.m. I have been reading Dear Justice. I am 55% done. I am halfway done with the book and I'm on page 108. So far um, the story is developing very well. I am truly enjoying it. He also started sending letters to his father um, because his mother's boyfriend was hiding the letters that his dad was sending him from prison. So it already explained, it already told us why he's in jail, why he's in prison. He's in jail for a crime he did not commit. So that's kind of like one of the plot of the story. I'm going to take a break from reading. I have to go do some grocery shopping really quick. I'm so in love with you. You just help me and give me
beside my ears and I'll fall asleep again Into your tears and soothe my tears To glow it all I see the blue of your flowers inside your heart So I am doing a little bit of self-care this morning because I need it. <laughs> I finished work early and I'm just like relaxing and getting ready for tomorrow's meeting for the book club. So if you guys are interested in joining a book club, there is still time. You can join any time. Um, the link will be down in my description box. Last night I did finish reading Dear Justice and I really liked it. So it is the sequel of Dear Martin. I think I've been mentioning this throughout the whole video but um it takes place in georgia and it just talks about the american juvenile justice system it's quinn who is a teenager and he is in prison for a crime that he did not commit so in a way this reminded me of just mercy but just mercy is based on a true story and nick stone wrote this story other voices be heard so it's an own voices ya justice and quinn they grew up in the same neighborhood they grew up with the same trauma we do remember um justice from dear martin he is now in a ivy league school i learned so much from this even if quinn tried so so hard he was always put into difficult situations for example there was a part where he studied super hard for his test and he aced it and later on his teacher called his mom saying that he had cheated on the test because this was the first time that he received a really high grade. If he tried super hard to be a better person, there was some obstacle that stopped him from being good enough. I really like this quote right here. When you're in that like middle to high school range, the people you're connect to, connected to really influence what you wind up doing. And I definitely agree with that. These kids, they need an influence, they need a mentor in their life. And Quinn did not receive that. He went through this trauma at home where he always had to see his stepfather beat his mom up and to hide his younger si siblings in the closet and sometimes he just couldn't be there. It also talked about how black kids are punished more for the same thing that white kids did. It's this part where it says, then the fact that bleep like me and Trey who do wrong get punished more harshly than white kids who do the same shit. He joined the black jihad. The reason why he joined this group is because he needed support and with these people he felt seen and he felt um, he felt that they, they wouldn't give up on him but because of them, because of following the wrong people, he ended up in prison for a crime he did not commit. I really like this story. Um, I love the message that it brought. I love that it's an own voices kind of, um, story. I liked why Nick Stone wrote the story. I wanted other kids to be seen and to be heard. The thing why I did not rate it a 5 are because the writing was okay. At times I was kind of lost because it jumped from one thing to the other and it kind of confused me in a bit so i had to go back and reread some parts but it was very easy to go back and understand all right hey guys so it is now 5 31 pm i was just relaxing and reading I started reading there there by tommy orange and i'm on page 17 there are 304 pages about Native American voices. It follows 12 different characters from Native communities. I can already tell that it's going to be very powerful. I already read about Tony Lone Man, and Tony has alcohol fetal syndrome, and he calls it the drone. It gives us a description of how exactly he looks with his mouth open, his eyes dropping. The author includes a lot of detail and details, and his writing is very descriptive i can just imagine it so well in my head of how these characters look on page 27 and i am reading i just finished reading about tony so who's he was our first character 
and now I'm going to be reading about Dean, Oxen Dean. And I can't wait to read more about it. I'm very intrigued to read more about these characters. The book introduces us with the year 1621 and it talks about Hellenists invaded Massasoit, who was the chief of the Wampanoags. They invited them to a feast and 90 of their men went. That meal is why people still eat a feast in November. The first feast that they had, it wasn't a Thanksgiving meal. It was more like a, like a land deal meal. And two years later, they had another feast, but this time 200 Indians dropped dead after being poisoned. It also states Metacomet, who was King Philip, and he was forced to sign a treaty where he had to give up all Indian guns. Three of his men were hanged, brother was poisoned, and all of that led to the first official Indian war. So it also talks about the year 1637, where four to 700 Pequots gathered for their green corn dance. That's when colonists surrounded their village and and set it on fire and they also shot anyone who tried to escape. Today, the Massachusetts Bay Colony had a feast and celebration which became known as Thanksgiving and to this day I'm wondering why do we celebrate Thanksgiving? You know, why do we have this feast still when hundreds of people died? Um, I'm gonna keep reading this book but I'm gonna go get some dinner because I haven't eaten anything. I forgot to mention that I bought some boba. I'm so excited, I'm so happy. And I also bought some Thai tea. So I'm really excited. We're gonna make some boba teas right now. I just finished dinner, by the way. <laughs> and yeah, I'm gonna make some and then I'm gonna read some more. Hopefully I can catch up on all my readings. <laughs> percent done and I am on page 45 this whole week I didn't work today so I've been catching up on my readings like I mentioned yesterday I started reading there there by Tommy Orange and I'm on page 85 I am 32% done I also started reading another book by Jason Reynolds both ways and it is a middle grade book I'm 22% in so there this book is very short he wrote the story 
by putting 10 tails of each of these tails are in one certain block of a street. But what happens after the dismissal of the bell from school? It first introduces us to Jasmine and TJ who have been friends for a very long time and the title of this um, chapter is called Water Booger Bears. How they clean their boogers with their, with their shirts. Just kid things. It reminds me of my childhood. It's very nostalgic because we all went to high school, middle school and we remember when the bell rang and that feeling of being able to go home after a long day at school. It talks about a group of kids that are called the Low Cuts who one of the kids' parents has cancer and it's just, I, th this is my favorite um, story so far. After the bell rings, after they get out of cl their class, they kind of collect scents throughout the whole day. With those coins, they buy candy from a neighbor. I guess it's like really old candy. What they do is they sell this candy to some old people who were smoking cigarettes or whatever. And with this money, they bought, they bought some ice cream. And it was so sweet because I thought that this ice cream was going to be for them. I really want to finish their there today because these characters are very interesting. All of them are very interesting. Edwin has always struggled with his weight and he just graduated with um, a degree. He's also struggling with finding a job and also finding his father because his mother is white, he is native, and has always been wanting to find his father to find what the other half of him is. I ordered We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. I will update you guys a little bit later with my readings. music background because my neighbors are somewhere around here they're having a party we're in the middle of a pandemic I subscribe to book of the month again and the reason why is because there ha there is gonna be some pretty cool releases I also wanted to talk about the last two books that I finished today so here we go oh they always like include a little booklet I used a different email. Uh, if you don't know what book of the month is, which if you watch booktube, you probably do know, but if you don't, just promote like new releases every month. You get to choose from the choices that they give you. So I got a bookmark, saved you a spot. Oh, that's hot. So this is a book that I chose for this month. 
of February is Infinite Country by Patricia Eng Engel. The book, the book does take place in Colombia, then it shifts to the United States. I picked this one for my book of the month of February. I finished reading There There by Tommy Orange and I fell in love with it. It was so, so good. Usually whenever I read books that have different points of views, they just bore me to death. But this book, Tommy Orange did an incredibly job at being able to keep the reader engaged. And I just feel like it was incredibly written. And yes, at times it got confusing just because there were so many characters. And I, I loved, I loved the way that the author connected each character. I think that part, those parts were so brilliant and they were amazing. It was very readable. It was a very good book. I enjoyed it a lot. The stories of the characters were more powerful and intriguing than some of the others. Some of their stories did not stick stick with me as much as the others like for example Opal's and Jackie's story was just incredibly devastating and very intriguing to me I was very interested in their stories those were some of my favorite characters and I feel that um, the author did such an amazing job at putting everything together connecting all the characters together of course there were a lot of characters and it was and it, and it was sometimes hard to keep up with all of them. In the beginning, we are introduced to Tony. Although he's only mentioned like a couple of times, he plays a huge role in the story at the end. And at the end, I was just like shocked because how dare the author just end it that way. Music played a huge role as well and that's what I loved. Basically, the book is called There There because of the song called There There by Radiohead. And if you do like the rock music, you do probably know who Radiohead is, right? One of their one of their most popular songs is Okay, Creep as well. <laughs> Those are some good ass songs. But anyways, let's continue. Um yeah, I also love the way how the author included um incorporated the transformers at the end because um it does mention how optimus prime dies and sorry if you haven't watched transformers and you don't you don't know that optimus prime died sorry if i spoiled it for you <laughs> perfectly to the ending because the story was about revenge betrayal and sacrifice the other book that i finished is look both ways a tale told in 10 blocks by jason reynolds and jason reynolds has become one of my favorite authors just because his writing is so incredibly powerful it was a topic that wasn't really interesting to me so that's why i rated it a three but i did enjoy it i think the topic of of getting out of school when the bell rings just made me very nostalgic just because i remember the times when i used to walk home from school and that's basically what the story was about jason reynolds takes takes us to 10 blocks and in 10 blocks there are 10 different stories of different kids who um, get out of school and all of them have something in common they're all rushing um to get somewhere the way that it turns out is just super cute, but you guys definitely have to read it. Very, very good. Kind of slow at times, and at times I just wanted to finish with it because some of the stories of the kids impacted me the most than others, but I really enjoyed it. And yeah, that's it. All right, guys, so I really hope that you guys enjoyed following me along throughout the week, even though it was a rough week. Hope you guys ha are having a wonderful Sunday or you guys had a wonderful Sunday. You guys are having a good day wherever you're watching this. Yeah, so I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed my weekly reading vlog. I will see you guys next time and have a wonderful day. Bye!